In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the computing architecture, which is a prerequisite to understand how an Oracle database works. If you were to consider how a computer works, it basically has three components. There are many components, but primarily there is memory or RAM, there is CPU and storage. So depicting it on the board, we have memory, we have storage and we have the processor. These three resources are primarily used when you do any computing. So what is the significant difference between these three? Storage is permanent, which means when you restart a computer, whatever is stored inside the storage is available even after the reboot. Memory is not permanent, which means when you restart a computer, the contents in the RAM is going to be flushed out. What is important is, if the CPU has to do any kind of processing, it cannot do it on the disk or on the storage directly. It can be done only on the data that is present in the memory. So storage or otherwise disk which is permanent cannot be worked on directly, which results in the fact if I want to work with any data, I need to read it from the storage, bring it into the memory and my CPU can work on it. This is the way a computer works as known today. On similar lines, when we want to work with an Oracle database, it also has to keep in mind the way my computer works or the way a server works so that it can work accordingly with it. So the architecture of an Oracle database has kept this in mind as to how it is going to work. But what you need to also keep in mind is that reading and writing to the storage or the disk is far slower compared to reading or writing to the memory. So this is like thousand times faster than reading from here. So we're going to see how these two components are going to be used. What is it mapping on to Oracle database components? And how do you efficiently use this as part of the collection of videos that come through? To quickly summarize, storage is permanent, but it is slow. Memory is very fast, but is not persistent, meaning a restart of your computer will erase the contents of the memory. So this is the way a computer works and the processor makes use of the contents in the memory to do any kind of processing that you want. So this becomes a foundation for you to understand the Oracle database architecture, which you will understand over the next set of videos that follow this one.